the president must be encouraged, all presidents must be encouraged to reach out to the main opposition parties in the search for competent people to help govern the country. In my view, the goal of national development must be a shared one. And in this regard, the opposition must always be willing to serve the interests of the country when called upon to do so. In 2014, something sad happened to Ghana. When the NDC convened a national economic forum and thought that the economy was not doing so well, but somebody like Honorable Yao or Sapo Mafo has the brains to help salvage the country. They convened this forum, they invited all across the political divide, and Osafo Mafo said it in the media that he's been invited and he will attend. Soon afterwards, the party issued a statement saying that don't go. That was a great disservice to Ghana. What are politicians in Ghana seeking? What are they looking for? Isn't it to make the place a better place for all of us? Isn't it to serve us? And so if you are serving, if you want to develop Ghana, and somebody has started, you would just have to continue. Your work becomes easier. I know of a very serious, um, now a current appointee, I was having a private discussion with, with her, and she was telling me, there was a problem that we're um, all lamenting about. I said, you people are the politicians, you should talk about it. I said, me, I should talk about it so that the NDC people will fix it. I won't talk about it. Let it be there so that they will be voted against. So when we come to power, we'll fix it. I, I, for me, this does not make sense. It is recommended that such overtures from the ruling party must not be disingenuously interpreted as a lack of personnel to govern. It must not be interpreted as bankruptcy of ideas on the part of the ruling party. Rather, it must be seen as a call and an opportunity to serve the country and promote national cohesion. Mm -hmm.